The table below shows the distribution of revenue among the different government sectors. Now you see that there is national, provincial and local on the table given to you and you notice there is a couple of years uh, displayed there and what's important is the heading there that states that it is RANS but each of those figures uh, represent billion. So that's very important to note when you are actually writing down the number, make sure that you know that billion is uh, important and must you must remember it when doing your number formats. So at the bottom there, there is an additional note. It says when the revenue of the local government sector was compared to the provincial sector in 2013 and 14, it was found to be 20,12% of the provincial sector. So all they're saying in a nutshell is that the local amount for, and I've indicated with the red um, square, you'll notice there is a amount missing there. So in order for us to work out this amount, they are giving us information to say that it is 20.12% of the provincial amount for that particular year and that year is 2013-2014. So we are asked at the bottom calculate the missing value E, the total revenue for the period 2013-2014. Now in order for us to work out E, we must also work out the local amount which I've indicated by the square, the red square, and we see that an amount is missing there in order for us to add them up and get the total of E right at the bottom. So using the information given to us, we know in order for us to work out the local, right, we see that our first step, we've got 410,6 times 20,12%. The 410, we've got it from the provincial amount for that particular year. We get an amount, now remember that amount that we worked out 82 rand, 61 is the amount for the local. So we need to include that there. And then in order for us to find out E, we add those three amounts and we get 946,6 uh, rands. Right? Remember, uh, the format must be 60 because it must be two decimal places. So 946,60 uh, as in terms of representing money. Determine the percentage by which the revenue for the national government sector increased during the period 2014 and 15 to 2015 and 16. Now, if, if you can see, I've highlighted this in the red square. This is the amounts that we need to look at. And all they're asking us to see, the, the determine the percentage. Now, we, are, we, we need to know within ourselves that, you know what, this is a question on percentage increase and decrease. So, all you can see is there is a amount changing here and you're looking at like old price, new price, or old amount, new amount, and they require a percentage. So we are leaning towards percentage increase and decrease. Now, if you remember clearly from grade nine work and previous years, now that you're in grade 12, you know that the percentage increase and decrease is generally the new minus the old divided by the old times 100%. That's the general idea behind this. And, um, Sometimes you'll have new price minus old price uh, divided by the old price. So this is generally the idea we use. And in this case, we are calling it percentage increase because we notice that the amounts have increased uh, over those years uh, from 490 to 546. So therefore, we know that it is percentage increase. So substituting into this formula that we know, we take the new price or the new amount, which is 546 uh, minus four, the 490 over the old price again, which is 490. Now remember why it's called old price is because that's the previous year. And the new price is obviously the, the, the more uh, recent year. So 2015 is more recent as compared to 2014. So when we do this multiplication through, remember we say times 100% because it's percentage increase and decrease. So times 100% and we arrive at an amount 11,44 and we approximate this to two decimal places to make it 11,45%. Explain why the national government sector received more revenue than the other sectors. Now this is general knowledge. In terms of this, you need to know that the national government obviously services the entire country 
whereas the province just focus on the province itself. Uh, the other answer could be that the national obviously has more expenses because they are focusing on the entire country, whereas the province province is only um, focusing on, on the province itself. Um, also, the national assists various provinces uh, in times of drought and wildfires. So any of these answers uh, can be given. But as we said, it's general knowledge. So it's important that you are well aware of certain general knowledge topics uh, so that when you are asked of this, that you can answer appropriately. Calculate the revenue allocated to the local government sector for the period 2017 and 2018. If the distribution of revenue among the different sectors was done according to the following ratio. Now, this simply put, all this information that's given to you is sums up within a ratio question. Now, you know from examples that you've done in class where you have ratios in terms of uh, boys, girls. Now, the difference is that all they've done is given you a ratio with three uh, aspects there. So, in the way it's written, local, provincial, and national, and the numbers will follow the same order. So your first will, is local, and then our number will be one. Our provincial is second, and our number for provincial will be 4,784. And this is how we do a question like this. And you know from ratios, generally we add the ratios up, and then we formulate a fraction, and then we work from there. So just as we would in terms of the soccer, volleyball, and netball, questions um, and in terms of boys and girls ratio we add the ratio up and then next we formulate a fraction and multiply by the total so if you look at the first step step one we've added the ratios given to us and we got 11 comma 03 and then in our next step we've we focus on local now if you look at local and the order in which is written like i've mentioned local has been appointed one uh, in regards to the, the the ratios distributed so we say 1 over the total which is 1 over 11 comma 0 3 times and then where did we get this 1 2 4 0 now uh, remember you take the ratio and you multiply it by the total now the total is given see in the red square i've, in, I've indicated the column there in which we're working in you find the 1 2 4 0 comma 5 and remember that the adding i mentioned earlier in the top is in billions so that's why we got one two four zero comma five billion now remember uh, how do we write down one two four zero comma five billion in full now generally um, the first three zeros remember is a thousand when there are three zeros it's a thousand when the the, the next three zeros added to that is a million so a million has six zeros and the next three zeros added to that would be a billion so a billion as nine zeros so this is how we work work this out and when we multiply it through we get one one two comma four six now this one one two comma four six six billion is in keeping with the format that has been given to us in the table if you notice there's commas there so you can either stick to this format or you can write down the full answer in terms of the calculator and you can write down this full answer next to it as it is shown there and what we've done in the next step is we've um, rounded it off. So we made it 112,5 billion.